The Body Language of Deer In the core of the peaceful woods, where the stir of leaves coordinates a relieving song and the brilliant daylight plays, find the stowaway through the branches, deer move with a natural beauty that reflects the verse of their environmental factors. As we notice the deer, it becomes obvious that each development is a brushstroke in a quiet work of art. Their cooperation, set apart by inconspicuous signals and purposeful stances, convey an account of local area, profound profundity, and a sensitive offset with the climate. In the domain of 3D livelinesses, catching the embodiment of these motions is a quest for realness. Each jerk of an ear, each step taken with estimated beauty, is a demonstration of the creativity expected to typify the soul of these forest occupants. Deer, those exquisite occupants of the forest, have a rich embroidery of nonverbal communication that mirrors their mind-boggling social designs and step-by-step -step processes for surviving. In the tranquil dance of nature, they convey through a collection of signals, displaying the excellence of their social bonds. While not so vocal as a portion of their partners in the collective of animals, deer really do use hearable signs to convey. Snorts, grunts, and cries form their acoustic language, each conveying an unmistakable message. In the terrific movement of deer conduct, synchronization becomes the overwhelming focus. The capacity to reflect the developments of sidekicks turns into a language in itself, cultivating bunch union. Body language of deers that each body part depicts. Prongs raised like glorious crowns, a deer standing tall regardless turns into a living sentinel, ears erect and eyes wide, a tribute to increased sharpness. This grand position is an urgent endurance piece, an instinctual reaction etched by development to recognize expected dangers in the ensemble of the forests. At the point when the day's process finishes up and the quietude of rest calls, the deer unfurls one more stanza in the language of its body. A deer resting, their sleep time, conveys a significant feeling that all is well with the world. On the other hand, when the deer decides to bed with legs spread out, a differentiating story arises, an expressive statement of status to escape. In this powerful scene, the deer finds some kind of harmony, ready between the weakness of rest and the need of carefulness. The expressive story of a deer's tail unfurls as a quiet however persuasive communicator in the stupendous story of the woodland. Picture this, a raised tail, a padded flag of interest or peaceful simplicity, vacillating tenderly in the breeze of the forest murmurs. Here the tail turns into a painter's brush, stroking the air with shades of curiosity. On the other hand, a brought down or tucked tail changes into a preventative note in this arboreal ensemble a sign of dread that reverberates through the ligaments of the deer. Presently, let the tail take a lively turn, a fiery flicking and energized dance against the material of the forest. This lively development adds layers to the nonverbal dictionary of the deer, a powerful jargon communicating bothering or unsettling influence. The ears of a deer, similar to nature's finely tuned radio wires, portray an account of tangible sharpness in the midst of the forest peacefulness. Envision the orchestra of the woodland, a deer remains with ears pointed forward, a token of steady mindfulness. Nonetheless, the ears, similar to the pendulum of a clock, swing in reverse, uncovering an alternate story, an unpretentious articulation of disquiet or accommodation. Understanding these ear developments divulges the complexities of the deer's reality, an existence where each gleam and slant paints a material of feelings, a quiet discourse scratched against the setting of nature's theater. In the quiet ballet of nature, a deer's grazing and feeding behaviors emerge as a harmonious dance, a testament to the tranquility and trust woven into the fabric of its environment. Yet, even in the midst of this tranquil feast, nature's vigilance remains inherent. The occasional lift of the deer's head, a pause in the symphony, speaks of an eternal awareness. When confronted with likely risk, deer display explicit guarded ways of behaving. The deer in the headlights position, where they freeze and gaze, is an endeavor to stay inconspicuous. During the reproducing season, male deer take part in rutting presentations to lay out predominance and draw in mates. This includes prong showcases, vocalizations, and actual posing. While less outwardly clear, fragrant stamping is a crucial part of deer correspondence. Bucks, specifically, 
use fragrance organs situated close to their eyes and hooves to store aroma on vegetation. In snapshots of disturbance or conflict, a deer's temper, the hair along its neck and back, may remain on end. This raised fur is an actual reaction to elevated feelings. The happy jump stotting. In snapshots of elation or to flag prosperity, deer take part in a way of behaving known as stotting. This includes bouncing with each of the four legs took off the ground at the same time. Stotting isn't simply a presentation of delight, it can likewise act as a visual impediment to hunters, displaying the deer's solidarity and spryness. As you leave on the creation of 3D animations featuring deer, remember that you're not just sculpting virtual animals, you're bringing to life the authentic body language of these rich creatures. Whether it's the quiet brushing or the thrilling stotting, let the genuine behaviors of deer guide your creative journey, creating a digital realm where the elegance of the forest comes alive.